Hey Vikes, I hope you're having a good hump day. I'm Alfred. And I'm Aaron. And SVTV starts right now. Hey Aaron, did you enjoy the teaser during seminar today? Yeah, I went to go watch it, but when is it? Don't you remember from the plant interview? Let's watch it again to refresh your memory. Hey Vikes, I'm Aaron. I'm with Audrey Two here from the musical, the star of the musical, and I'm here to ask her some questions. So when is the musical? The musical is March 8th, 9th, and 10th. It starts at 7 p.m. and tickets are $8. Why should students come to the musical? This musical is so much fun to watch. There's great music, great dialogue, and all of our actors and our techies and our orchestras have been working so hard to put this show together. Why did you choose this musical? We chose this musical because it's awesome. It's a man-eating plant. Like, what is not awesome about that? How many, how many people do you eat? Well, I guess you're just going to have to come to the musical and find out. All right, this has been Aaron McGill signing off for SVTV. And all right, you're trying to eat me, so back to your acres. Oh, I remember now. I'll be sure to go. Here's your announcements. International Thespian Society will be selling messages all week during lunch and at the musical. For only one dollar, you can send a message to your friend in the cast or on the crew. These messages will be delivered to them right before the curtain opens each night of the musical. For five dollars, you can send one to the entire cast and crew. See Ms. Murphy for questions. This Friday, during all the lunch periods, the Norse Nook will be open. Check the high school store for information and pictures of the items available for sale. Mr. Tinsley is in need of student volunteers to work in the store on Friday. See him to sign up or send him a message on Schoology. The next Parent Afterglow meeting will be in the Commons on Wednesday, March 14th at 7 p.m. Attention AP students, let your teacher know if you are interested in taking an AP exam. Congratulations to our new Key Club officers for the 18 to 19 school year. President Megan Carter, Vice President Ashley Sadler, Secretary Kelly Blades, and Historian Kelly Anderson. The Math Club is planning an Pi Day fundraiser on March 14th. They will be traveling to seminars and selling pieces of pie for $2. Remember to bring your cash on Pi Day and enjoy a slice. Now over with me with sports. Hey, you know what that is? Oh yeah, that's Little Shop of Horrors, the school musical. You should come see it. That's cool. I liked the movie, so maybe you like the musical. Yeah. Come see Little Shop of Horrors this weekend at 7 p.m. Show price is $8. Honey, where's my SVTV? Cyberbullying is a very real thing. Affecting over half of young adults online, it is generally done by bullies called trolls. These trolls will invade your privacy and ruin your social media experience. Here are some ways to prevent that. Set your privacy settings on all accounts. Only accept friends. Trolls are not your friends. Don't release any personal information. Block suspicious accounts. And tell a trusted adult. Use these tips to help keep you safe on social media. Don't get trolled, stay safe online, and stop cyberbullies. Congratulations to our boys basketball team for qualifying for the state tournament. The game is tonight at 6.30. Please come out and support your Vikes. Tickets are $6 and must be, must be purchased at the box office. Shawnee County requires that all cars parked in, parked in the lots must be assessed a $5 parking fee, which can be, can be collected when entering the lots. The SHS baseball 
is hosting a dodgeball tourney this Saturday, March 10th, at Stephen Middle School. Entry fee is $36 per team for, six, for a six-person team. There will be a volleyball information meeting for sophomores and juniors before school on next Tuesday in W6. An information meeting for freshmen during activity period next Wednesday at Mr. Schaefer's room. Any students interested in purchasing semen baseball or softball apparel can pick up an order form in the office. Deadline for the order is Wednesday, March 14th for baseball and Thursday, March 15th for softball. Now over to Josh with the weather. What's going on, Vikes? After a very cold day yesterday that came along with some snow, we do look to warm up, but not just yet. Tonight will be another cold night under clear skies with light winds for a change. Then tomorrow, upper 40s with just a few clouds in the area. By Sunday and Sunday night, there appears to be a chance for showers and storms, but there are still significant differences in the models. Either way, don't expect to see a lot of rain for your Sunday. And now for your SVTV 5-day forecast, you can see we do warm up nicely for Friday ahead of that rain chance. And then more clouds and cooler weather for Sunday, but still not nearly as cold as it was yesterday. Today in history, it's National Cereal Day and Be Heard Day. Now for the severe weather awareness topic for, this, for today. Today is the third day of Severe Weather Awareness Week, and the focus is on hail and wind. Now, these threats often garner less respect than tornadoes, but they are much more frequent and can still be very damaging and impactful. In fact, strong straight-line winds can be just as deadly as tornadoes. You do not want to be outside during a severe thunderstorm and try to stay away from windows. Tomorrow, I'll cover lightning safety. Until then... Have a great day. Thanks, Josh. I'm here with Veronica Hills for Pi Day. So what's up? So far we've raised $100. Our goal is to raise $2,000 by next Wednesday. Um, we are going to go and collect money on Friday during seminar. So if you guys have not collect, uh, do donated or you still want to donate, you can donate on Friday during seminar. The last day to donate is Wednesday, March 14th. Okay, thank you. That's all for today, Vikes. Don't forget to go to the basketball game tonight. 